such an amazing freaking dinner and a ton of food. Mao, I love you. I love you a lot. Also, this is the uh, honey mustard pork tenderloin. Haven't tried it yet, but I'm anxious to. It's good. You like it? Warming a few words while you're eating. <laughs> By the way, hello everyone and welcome to Wednesday. I'm not going to waste any time here. We are going to talk about what you want to talk about. Wind Waker HD. And I mean, to a lesser extent, the entire uh, Nintendo Direct conference. By the way, these are pretty cool. The little Nintendo Direct things that they do every now and then. I'm not actually sure how often they do them. I just catch them when they come out, but it seems like they're coming out fairly often. They're pretty neat. Um, it's a really good way for a company, you know, sort of especially a big company such as Nintendo, to really kind of connect with people. They're getting my interest back, and I'm not a super huge Nintendo fan, at least I haven't been in a while, but I really like what they've been doing. Anyway, that's relevant. Uh, there's been some pretty exciting news that came out today. Uh, among the news was a lot of Wii U fixes, patches, virtual console stuff, and just kind of like, eh, blah, 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 stuff that will eventually push me into buying a Wii U. Um, some notable things, a new Yoshi game in the style of Kirby's Epic Yarn. Unexpected, but I'm cool with that. You might have forgotten, but it's actually been quite a long time since Yoshi made a home console release. Uh, the last game was Yoshi's Story, and the game before that was Yoshi's Island. There's only really been two games that starred Yoshi, and Yoshi's Story was in 98. 98! See, in my mind, I want to say that 98 was a few years ago, but then I realized that I'm an old fogey, and 98 was actually a long, long time ago. 15 years. 15 years ago! Wow. Also, Mario Kart and Smash Brothers and the new Mario game are, are going to be seen at uh, E3, and they're working on a new Zelda. But, at the start of the show, uh, I would say by far, is probably the fact that Wind Waker is coming to Wii U in HD. To which I say, why are you surprised? <laughs> I'm not 100% sure if I mentioned it or not whenever I was talking about the Wii U like a month or so ago in a video, um, but I know that Nintendo is going to milk uh, their old games, their, their GameCube and Wii games, as HD collections or HD remakes, re-releases for the Wii U. I don't think that's a bad thing. Some people seem to think that that's a terrible thing and that they should leave games alone. I, I don't know if I agree with that. I really like the HD re-releases because we have new, more powerful hardware that can, you know, upscale things and make it look prettier, and especially if they're going to take the time to actually redo some stuff. For example, I could take Wind Waker and play it in Dolphin in 1080, but, you know, the textures and the sprites and stuff aren't going to look quite as good as they could. Whereas if Nintendo does it, it's going to look pretty fabulous. I really don't have a problem with HD re-releases as long as the graphics are primarily what they're changing. I don't really like my games changed. You know, if a game has stood the test of time, I feel like it should be left alone. There's probably some circumstances where that could be altered, but I guess it depends on the game. In Wind Waker's case, I've never completed all of Wind Waker. Mao has, and uh, I don't think Mao would want the game changed. I know that there's some parts in there that are a little tedious, but it's, it's Wind Waker, you know? It's, I don't know. I, I feel like it would be a tragedy if they started changing elements of the game. But I think you could look at what they've done uh, before with Ocarina of Time for the 3DS. I don't own that game personally because I don't have a 3DS, but I've talked to a lot of people that have and there haven't been really any complaints that I've heard about that title. Um, obviously, the graphics are better and they're in 3D, that's pretty cool. Um, and there's a few other elements here and there that have changed, but by and large the game is the same. I think that they'll probably follow suit when it comes to Wind Waker. So you can use this vlog as an opportunity to voice your opinion on any of the stuff that was in the Nintendo Direct today. Um, mostly Wind Waker HD and maybe how you feel about HD uh, re-releases, collections, remakes. And, and all of those are different. The re-releases and the remakes, technically the re-release is where they just release it in HD and the remake is where they actually remake it. Uh, kind of like Halo, the Halo anniversary. I don't really care either way, because either way they're making an old game look new, and sometimes having a new coat of paint is really, really nice, but ultimately I want to hear your opinion on it. So let me know down below, and uh, thank you so much for watching, and as always, let's meet back tomorrow, shall we? Also, Donkey Kong Country Returns HD. Just saying. It's coming. And I'm excited.